I am here with Tyler John from the Whiskey Rebels, and uh, they have a new CD coming out, and I'm going to do a little bit of an interview with Tyler in the studio right now. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what I'm going to do is kind of ask you, well, when did you graduate from high school? 2009. 2009 from Ludington, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. And then give me a little lowdown of what you did after high school. Well, after high school, I uh, went to great. Cradle Styles U, West Shore Community College. Yes, as, as did I, as did I. It's not a bad place. No, no, I went there for two years and uh, just kind of, school was never one of my, I wasn't a bad student, but I, I just, I liked going out and working and making money and right. And uh, I just opted out. I re Really what it came down to was I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. And it didn't make sense to me to go spend buku dollars and get in huge debt to only have a degree in something that I really didn't want to do. Gotcha. So I just went to work, and I was working at House of Flavors. Okay. Here in town, Ludington okay. Milestone. Keeping it, keeping it real in, yep. in Ludington. Yep, yep. And then uh, I left there to go work at Western Land Services, and I uh, was was there for a long time. I was there three years or so. Okay. Um, was on the road for a lot of that, working uh, as a landman, and then. The last stint there, I was out in Pennsylvania for with them. Okay. Now, as a landman, you were basically gone during the week, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Well, yeah. When Explain I explain uh, kind of what you do there, because a lot of people as work a, at Western yeah. Land in town, and they have no idea. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Well, yeah. A lot of the people in in the office don't even know. You know, they think they know what. Uh, in, in the state of Michigan, it was Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday. Um, I was staying in a hotel wherever they had us. Right. And then come home for the weekend and then ship back out on Monday. Um, there's a lot of people that are out of state though doing it too. And so when I did that, I was out in, in Clarion County in Pennsylvania okay. and, uh, just that you don't come home for so much, you know, it's, exactly. it's a long drive. That's now it. I remember talking to you before, um, cause you had tried out for the voice. Yes, ma'am. And I like that you call me ma'am. That's hilarious. You do not have to call me ma'am. <laughs> and, uh, I remember you saying that just, doing a lot of working and stuff you wanted to be more home letting yeah. things kind of where you wanted to be and do yeah. that kind of thing so i i love it here my mom's from here my you know my my dad's out of manistee so i've spent a lot of time in this area and uh it it's weird i i watched a lot of people just hurry up to get out of here and some people stayed away but a lot of them came back they're all coming back they all come back they all come back yeah i mean we we were very lucky to grow up here so. right 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 so you left Western Land recently, and yeah. kind of give us a reason now why you why why'd you leave? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna badmouth them at no, all. No, no, I'm great, just they're a great company. No, they're, I'm saying I got a lot uh, of friends that still work there. You have a um, you have a other talent that uh, I think a lot of people know about, but there are, I'm definitely sure people that are gonna listen to this don't know as much about it. Yeah. So why don't you tell me? I love I love playing music, and I love my band, and I love. Uh, I love getting up on a stage on a Friday or Saturday night and just having a really good time. And now with having original music to mm -hmm. see people sing words to your songs and like this weekend I was at a wedding to have someone come up to me and recognize me from being in a band. It, it, it is very cool. So in December, I just decided kind of enough was enough. I, I, I couldn't be eight hours away and be here to do that. Um, and so I decided for, for multiple reasons, the main two reasons were um, to play music and, and to pursue that um, with more focus and uh, more attention. And then the other reason was just, you know, family and friends. And so now, you know, music doesn't always pay the bills. So No, it doesn't. I, uh, I run the marketing up at my dad's shop, uh, okay. Parkdale Auto in Manistee. Well, free plug for their big guy. Well, yeah, and, and mom wants ABC yeah. kids and purple monkeys. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, so they're they're well known people in town. Yeah, so. they're all they're all business owners. They're so all we, they're my neighbors too. Yeah, so yeah. you know, I get to see them a lot. But now the name of your band is the Whiskey Rebels. Yep. But it used to be what you it used to be called All Tuned Up for a while. Okay, for so while. some people that probably have been following you for a long time remember you as that. So. Yeah, you know that was me and Jared Anderson mostly. Okay, back, back then. Um, we didn't stay that name long. Uh, we added Cody Smith as a drummer and uh, Blake Towns as a bass player and switched it over to Whiskey Rebels. And now since that time, uh, Cody's gone on to do other things. He's doing his own type of 
radio podcast stuff right now for the motocross circuit. Cool. Um, you know, it, it, that whole family has been real involved with motocross mm-hmm. with his brother racing. Um, and then Blake, you know, Towns Construction, they're just doing Busy. what they do and working their butts off. And uh, he was next in line to kind of start right. getting some of that control of that. And that requires a lot of time. And he didn't have time and he was newly married. And, you know, so stuff like that, it just takes away. And uh, we, we we love Blake. He's actually on one of the songs on the CD. Cool. We, cu- we dragged him up to the studio with us and said, hey, you know, you, you helped us get to this point. That's awesome. Come come play a tune with us. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. That's cool. So how long have you guys been the Whiskey Rebels? I would say probably just shy of two years, year okay. and a half. And how long have you been playing music? Like, when did you learn how to play the guitar? Or when did you start dabbling learning how to play Honestly, the guitar? Honestly, the guitar playing started not long before the Whiskey Rebel, or really? before the band. Okay. Um, I'm a drummer by nature. Okay. I've, I've played drums since I was probably six, seven, eight years old, somewhere in I don't even remember, but um, just, I remember going over to a friend's house, or a family friend's house on New Year's. And him seeing seeing his drum set sitting in the basement, being a little kid, thinking it was the coolest thing ever. Right. And uh, and banging on things as yeah, a little kid and, is always awesome. Yeah, <laughs> making a bunch of noise. And, right. And he taught me a few beats and different rudiments and stuff. And lo and behold, I ended up owning that drum set. Nice. Because he he was getting out of it, and uh, my my parents helped me get that, and they were cool enough to let me just jam all the time in the basement. Yeah, wow. And then, bless, you know, Bless their hearts. Yeah. And then you got a lot, you know, I was always in the music program at Ludington with mm-hmm. Parker and uh, Mr. Malt. Right. And I did all the percussion type stuff. And, uh, but I also, I've always really liked singing. And so I was always in choir and show choir with uh, Sofa and uh, at the church a lot. I've, right. I've always played drums in church and, and sang in the church. And, uh, I knew you had a pretty strong background growing up doing stuff at church and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, I, it. It's cool that it it starts so small and then it can become so huge. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at a CD that you guys have created, and you're doing a lot of touring now. And when you think back, when you're you know 10, 11, you're like, oh, I love doing this. You know, you have all those kids like, I want to be a basketball player or right, whatever. Right. And then when you actually can get out there and, like you said, people recognize you, and you're yeah. like oh my gosh, I'm standing up on stage and people are like singing my songs. That's pretty incredible. The songs that I think that you'll see on this CD, um, you know, I make a joke that the song Pour It Up that I wrote, it's my least favorite song I've ever written. They talk me into putting it on the CD basically, but um, other other than that one, every other one I've written has a lot of really a good emotion behind it. Okay. And uh, so to see other people relate to it, Right, it, exactly. It, I mean, it's no so different than you writing a story. You put a lot of passion into that, so you want right. someone to read it and really relate or connect with it and exactly. Exactly. stir up emotions in them. But, uh, no, getting back to, the, like, growing up playing in church and whatnot, you know, one thing that I found from playing with people is people that grew up playing music in church is that you just, they learn how to play with other people really well. Yes, the communication yeah. aspect. In, you there's a lot of good musicians out there, but I played with musicians that were monster musicians. Mm-hmm. Couldn't play with a band. Right. They just couldn't do it. Right. You know, so. So locally, where you guys, I know that you played the sandbar a lot. <laughs> we do play at the sandbar a lot. I brought my calendar with me too. Um, you know. Shoot me some dates. Right yeah. off the top of my head coming up. Uh, this Friday, I know we're not local. We're down at the back 40 in Grand Rapids. Um, but. Next next week, the 21st of May, Thursday, is a big day for us. We've been invited to the Battle of Bands in Traverse City um, for the Traverse City Music Festival. Um, we've had a lot of fun up there, so that'll be Thursday. Thursday, um, And then Saturday, the 23rd, is our real big day, and it's at the Sandbar. It's our CD release party. Um, cool. So we're just going to be rocking from 9 until whenever they kick us off the stage, usually... Right. Or that's one of those places that we're not like, oh, man, it's 1 o'clock, let's go. Right. Usually it's like, okay, we're not allowed to serve anymore, get, get out of here type of thing. Right. Um, and that's cool. So we'll, we'll have that. Um, I know early on 
Uh, June's busy for us. We're going on a, we have one weekend where we go down and play Belling, Michigan, turn right around and come up. That's where up. my dad's from. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing at the Orleans Raceway there. Okay. Um, and then we turn right around and come up and go up to the off-road park in Copemish. Okay. Um, so that'll be a long weekend. And then this, I think the second week we're, uh, we're at Michael's. Okay. Um, but I know the city's hired us. We're going to be during the Friday Night Live stuff they do this year. Awesome. They're doing an after party on uh, James Street, and they're hiring us to play the night shift of that. Oh, cool. Um, so that'll be cool. That's in July. Um, you know, we're the 23rd also at the Sandbar is going to be cool because we've been hooked up with Renee Tate to uh, shoot a music video for My Home. And I sent her a list of our songs, and she listened to them. And... Uh, you know, my home was written about missing Ludington. Right. It, it's just, I remember you talking it's about just, that. It's just, it's what it is. You Isn't know? that the song, that's the song you did to try out for The Voice, Yeah, that's right? the one I submitted for The Voice. Okay. Um, and that ended up going really well. You know, that's kind of what's driven my fire to kind of do this, was I went down there with not, with to Cleveland without really knowing what to expect. And I started with 20 people in my group, and I made it to the third round. Awesome. Because um, people don't really understand, they think that, Everybody shows up on stage, like American Idol too. They're like they're all in front of those judges. It's like no, you have to like sing like four or five times. Well, they some weed people, a lot yeah. of people out unless they're really good television worthy because they're so terrible and obnoxious. My big joke know? is that I don't have the sob story background to sell it on TV, um, and that's a lot of it. And it's too bad that there's a lot of that. You know, and it, it's it, there was thousands and thousands of people there, and it was packed. And you went into a room with twenty people. They call your name. You go up and stand on a line in front of one lady sitting behind a computer, and you sing with no instruments, just no music, just sing. And it was, it taught me a lot. It taught me that there is a lot of talented people. Yes. Um, I'm not the best singer in the world, which I didn't think I was when I went down right. there, but I had confidence. Um, half That's half the battle. You know, but the, of the people that I saw that did really well, They'd tried out, it was like their fourth or five, fifth time going. Right. So, you know, and now going back, I would have done it a little bit differently on my song selection. Right. Um, but other than that, it was just a really great learning experience, and it kind of just gave me the confidence to kind of right. go after this. Uh, and it just, you know, it all comes back to just how much fun I have. And then I, I go, I, I'm just a music fan just like everybody else. I went right. to Jason Elding last week in Van Andel. Ah, I had and, a couple friends that went to that. They said it was an awesome well, show. So. It's like... I met Cole Swindell because we opened for right. him, or I opened for him up in Traverse City, and so to see him get out to a sold out show in front of Van Andel and see him up there, and just, he's doing quite well. I mean, he's uh, well, pretty new still, you know. He and, won ACM New Artist of the right, Year, right? Exactly. And uh, he just, you know, to see someone living the dream and doing what they want to do and having a great time. And I mean, you hear stories. I mean, uh, like I said, being on the road for Western, uh, oftentimes hotel rooms turned into prison cells. Yeah. And I'm sure a tour bus would turn into that after a while right. too. But at the end of the day, I know I gotta believe that those guys get up there to hear Arena chanting the words yeah. of your song. Just gotta be. Did you take your guitar with you when you would travel for Western and oh, write yeah. a lot well, yeah. while you were well, in the? Yeah, and all like my home was written in a hotel room. Uh, what I need was written in a hotel room. It just. Uh, it's kind of the only time you had, really, when you were working, too. Yeah, so. yeah, it's the only time I had, and that's why I learned to play guitar because of being on the road, just simply because I was either going to get fat and watch TV all the time or right. going to learn how to play guitar. Right. You know, do something somewhat right. productive. So I want you to sing for me. But all the right. CD's called Whiskey Rebels American Rights. Yes. yes. And how many tracks are on this day of voice? 11. 11. Hey, that's pretty good. You know, yeah. most people are releasing a. EP first well, and have like four. And, and this kind of is like an EP because the first six songs are originals and the last five are covers that okay. we do um, that we've we've paid to have rights to and, and we pay royalties on those right. five. Um, but American Rights for us was, a, you know, we're all outdoorsmen and believe in being able to own a firearm. And that's what that was written about is okay. a pro protecting the Constitution and protecting right. the Second Amendment. And then besides you, who are the other members of the band real quick? Because I yeah. don't want to... No, know. We, I don't... I, <laughs> if it was up to me, I could have... I would have all of them. Right. There, but it just doesn't... Not everybody has the schedule that I have now exactly. to be able to do this. Uh, Jared Anderson's been with me since the beginning. Okay. He's the lead guitar and uh, also does some writing. He wrote number two on the, on the CD Friday night. Um, he works at Western Land Services okay. in their GIS department. 
Um, Jason Fusier. Oh, we, Jason and I go. I was gonna back. say, Jason. Jason's our older brother in the band. We, yes. The big joke was this week we had to fill out our date of birth for the Battle of the Bands. Like he, he put eighty or eighty one. Yeah, I'm sure. It, on yeah, there. it was eighty, and I, yeah, I said, that's "Man, my, that's I said, my year too." I said, "Man, you're an old man," and he goes, "No, man, I'm eighteen with seventeen years experience." That's there all. you go. And he's he is been, too. He's, he's, he's been playing for a long time back when he played for like I Core with Matt Lindsay and those guys. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you know. It, we were nervous when we transitioned into a new drummer, and he came and fit right in. And yeah, he's, he's always a good, guy. He's a good guy. And then most recently, we added uh, Dave Lemie out of Muskegon. Oh, okay. He's 25. Um, played in a lot of metal bands, rock bands. You know, we're not your country band that people think of. We don't have a slide guitar or anything like that. Right. Banjo. Um, actually, one of our new songs that we just wrote um, that's not on the CD is called That's Not Country, but I think I like it. Nice. Because that's what a lot of people tell us. You know, they just come up and they're like, "Man, you guys aren't a country band, but you kind of are." I just, I don't know. I think I like it though. Probably more like Amer- Americana pop, almost maybe we're, we're Americana new, yeah, rock. Yeah, kind it's of. a new age country. Yeah. You know, the country's not what Co- it used to no, be. No, we're not, not a bro country like they call some of those right, guys. Right. I mean, you're not going to hear, a, you know, a. I don't know. There, some of the music these days aren't well, even not even bands. Well, like Kenny Chesney and. Now even Zach Brown, how they're doing like the Jimmy Buffett style stuff. It's like, what are you doing? You know? Well, and what I like about it, what I like about our CD is that you will get a little bit of everything. We have some songs that are poppier, some that are rockier. Um, you know, I mean, now you got Zach Brown just released that song with Chris Cornell from right, uh, which is awesome because he's one of the greatest rock oh, singers, and it's ever, awesome. It's awesome. Ever. So, which one are you going to play for me? Um, well, seeing as how it's Mason County Press and. I'm sure it might be Oceana in those areas too. I guess I'll do my home. All right. Um, just because it's about this area. Sounds and, uh, good. The video we're shooting is going to have the lighthouse and all the main stuff like that. Now and again, when is the video shoot? Well, it's multiple dates. We can't fit okay, it all in the one because we're, we're getting kind of crazy with it. She's getting really experimental with it. Hey. We're, we're going to have drones flying and all kinds of cool stuff. Wow. It'll be wow. Cool. it'll be cool. Yeah. But uh, yeah, May 23rd is the one that we're going to get the live audience and okay. stuff. At the sandbar. So cool. All this right. one's called my home. All right, thanks. Twelve hundred miles in a three-hour drive. It's a beautiful baby away from my side. Checks nice and the truck is good. That don't mean a thing without you. Feel so alone. It's time that I go home. This home is where I want to be. That's the only thing that's clear to me. Friends and family, my woman by my side.
Shorten it up a little bit. That's all right. Version. Hey, it sounds great. You have a great singing voice. Thank you. It's country, but it's not. You could do it. You have a lot of ability to do a lot of genres. The Black Crows is probably my favorite band to sing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, She Talks to Angels is probably my oh favorite. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love if, that if you song. Talk, if you want to talk like go-to karaoke song, that's it. Right. That's well, the go-to. See, and mine, people are always either wanting me to do Four Non Blondes, What's Up for... Bobby McGee, and you get so sick of those songs, but I can't help it. That's how my voice goes, too. So, but You find your range. You, you know? do. Jason Aldean is probably like, if I had to pick. You, Yeah, you sound like. He, he's my range, which yeah. is what I like to sing. Yeah. Well, and I'm, my background's in opera, so. There you go. <laughs> Not a lot of gigs in uh, good old Mason County to do the opera thing, but I like singing out. So maybe sometimes you guys should uh, let me come up and sing with you sometime or something. There you go. So. There you go. Yeah. But uh, anything else you want to, you know, tell people about the, the CD? How, what, how can they get it? How can they get it? There's uh, multiple ways. The best way is come to a show. Right. Um, and if you're looking for a way to figure out when those shows are, check out our Facebook page. Okay. It's facebook.com slash Whiskey Rebels Music. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Um, there's links on there to uh, online sales for okay. these CDs. Um, you get, you know, you sit there and you try to figure out what to charge for a CD. Um, it's not cheap to, to get into it. And like you said when you picked it up, it's it's not hodgepodge together. It's very well put together. Right. Um, who did it for you? Who did it? A, a company called Disc Makers. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, we recorded right in well, Copemish, Michigan. Okay. And uh, somebody that John Merchant hooked us up with. Of course. You know, he's the man. Johnny. He, yeah. he, he's the man. Uh, and uh, so we went up there and he, Scott is his name, is the engineer that recorded us and it's Frontier Recording. And he hooked us up with Disc Makers and I like to think I'm pretty artsy. Um and I'm okay on a computer, but to put it together myself wasn't working. So I ended up just talking. I they offered a program where I could talk to the designer and tell him what I wanted. Right. And I told my exact words were I said I wanted to say the Whiskey Rebels and cursive writing, kind of like our logo with American rights. I said, and I want a vintage looking flag in the background. Well, it looks nice. He nailed it, you know. And so he did a really nice job with that. And the inside, uh, which we'll have picture, I'll get some pictures to you of. It has our horns logo on there. Um, it, it just we didn't know what to charge, and so I just we, I decided eleven songs, ten bucks. You know, I think that's totally I, I, appropriate. I think, I think it's appropriate online. They're fourteen. Okay. Um, if you don't want the actual hard copy, you can download it for ten. Oh, nice. Or if there's you know, hey, maybe I got some like one one buddy, uh, Adam. He loves for number number uh, four on the CD. And he just says he listens to it over and over again. If you like just one song, you can buy just one song. Cool. Um, for 99 cents, I think it is. Can they do it right on iTunes or through the... iTunes is coming. It, okay. That, that's a long process. Uh, I was just talking to Rob about you guys' Yeah, podcast it's not the, stuff. it's not the easiest it's, thing. Again, a lot of it is is I'm still working a almost full-time day job. Mm-hmm. Um, and just and trying to get it to where I need it to be. Um, but it'll be on there shortly. We'll have it on there Uh I'm, I'm almost done with having it on Spotify. It'll be cool. on there. That's cool. Um, so people will be able to stream it on there. And just getting it out. You know, we're trying. I'm leaving this interview to go to the radio, uh, WMOM, to do an interview there. And, nice and handy. Yeah. Since we're right next door. Yeah. I, try, I tried <laughs> to group that all together. Um, and then that's the other thing that I really like about this CD and that a lot of people dig is that it can be played on country radio. It can be played on a WMOM. It's been on 94K Rock. Um, You're becoming a Taylor Swift. Oh, man. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I, I There's got to be somebody I, better I, I can be compared to than Carrie, Taylor Swift. Carrie Underwood? Right, I, I'll all, take Carrie Underwood. I'm, I'm trying to think of any other. Uh, yeah. Ryan Adams. I don't know there if you're you a Ryan Adams yeah. fan. I, I, I dig him, you know. So, but, all right. No, but there hey, are. It, it, if it, I got to be Taylor Swift. Hey, I'll, I'll be she's Swift. she's doing well for herself. Hey, I'm sure she's not hurt. No, that's, sure. that, that's definitely not. But yeah, she's not. But no, I I feel like there's not a lot of true genres anymore. No, there's not. It's all crossover stuff. And, or people are like you said with Zach Brown and Chris Cornell. They're yeah. really like coming together, which is oh. awesome that they appreciate 
the different types of music. Right. Because back in the 80s, even in the 90s, they didn't even do that. Right. And so I, I just really want to encourage people to come out to a show. Um, you know, uh, the guys in the band are talented, talented right. guys. As far as musicians go, I'm probably one of the, I'm probably on the low end of that totem pole in the band itself. Um, Jared's been playing his whole life and is just a stud. And uh, Dave on bass, he, you know, he's an animal. And Jason, he just, you know, he's Jason. Right. He just does what he does. Um, but it, come to a show and check it out. We play a lot of different music from Jimmy Buffett to, uh, I mean, you name it. We'll play Sublime. We play all, nice, kinds, nice. all kinds of crazy stuff. That's the fun thing, too. Fresh that Prince of Bel-Air. Nice. But, you know, I mean, you name it, we do it. Um, but we, we like to mix it up, and we're constantly writing new music. And, um, you know, just come out to a show, 10 bucks on there, 14 bucks for the CD online on, on the CDbaby.com. Right. Is the best place to get it right now. Um, but other than that, you know, just come check out a show is really what we're wanting. Nice thing, too, is Sam Bart, I mean, I don't, as far as I know, they don't charge a cover. No anything. cover. No cover. Leadington's a great place for that. There's never a cover. It Enjoy it while it lasts, too, because I, I foresee cover charges coming to Ludington. Well, they need to. We, there is a lot of hidden talent and not hidden talent in yeah. this town, ranging from really young kids to people, yeah. you know, that have been around well, for a long time. Yeah. So I mean, you got kids now ripping it up in town. I, I go and see them play that I was giving drum lessons to back in the right. day. and now you're like, now, oh, now I'm man. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, right. Get out of here. My, my career is coming to an end already by a 12-year-old. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming in. No, and I appreciate you having us and oh, uh, no everything that you guys do. No problem. Um, and I, uh, for the community, really. I mean, oh, thanks. I, I check you guys out pretty regularly for my for we, my news source. We appreciate Cut that. Cut the BS and just give me what the what, what the deal is. That's what I like about <laughs> and you That's guys. what we try to do. Yeah. Well, at least Rob tries to do. I, I, I do get to do more of the, uh, the fun stuff. I don't think yeah. I ever like the, you know. Meth lab busts and all that fun stuff. So yeah, we gotta get, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that out of Ludington. That, there's <laughs> right. gonna be a song written about that somewhere. There you too. go. There you go. Yeah. That should be your next hit. You should dedicate it to uh, you know me. Just yeah. kidding. Yeah. That sounded bad. You don't want a meth lab song dedicated to you, You're right? Well, she did call me Taylor Swift. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> on that note, I appreciate you coming in, and I will be checking out a, a show very soon here. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Tyler. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Yep.